Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to access your camera and audio just like this. Now you can see me in real time. Also, we can pause the recording. I'm gonna hands up and resume it. Yeah, now you can see my hand is up and you can pause whenever you want and resume whenever you want. Also, when you stop the recording, this final video will be playing in the player. Also, you can get the blob. Then you can upload it to S3 or 5S or whatever the storage you are using. Okay, let's start coding let me show you how we execute here you can see i have buttons for buttons to start stop resume and play also i have the video player and i have assigned the video ref to it we are getting all these functionalities from our hook okay let's start coding let's add the start recording function first we have to add a try catch block now we're gonna get access to the user's camera and the audio this is how we do it navigator dot media devices dot get user media here we wanna pass an object and select video through and audio through now i'm gonna store this in a variable we have to await this call now we have to create a media record here we have to create an instance of a media record we have to pass the stream to it now we can type media record dot star to start recording now let add the error here this line will throw an error when we can't access these two okay therefore i have added an error called error getting access let's test our app here you can see i have a red dot that means my audio and video getting access to this web app so when you try first you will get a pop-up and there you have to allow it mine is already allowed because i test this app previously all right let's go to stop feature so when we stop we need to get access to this media recorder so now we have to set the recorder into a state and access it in here now i'm gonna create a recorder state by default it is null and here the type is media recorder or null i'm gonna create a stream state also so we can add this stream there here by default the stream is null and here i'm gonna add media stream or null after we got the stream we're gonna set stream as the stream and i'm gonna set recorder as media recorder done let's go to stop recording here i'm gonna add if recorder is available then recorder dot stop after that we have to add recorder dot stream get tracks and then we have to map those tracks get each and every track track dot stop here I have added status to our application. First one is idle, second one is recording, third one is post. So when we start, let's add the set status to recording. Okay. By default, the status is idle. Let me add it to the top here. And then when we stop, we have to add set status to idle. Okay. Also, after we add this one, we have to add set recorder null set string null okay let's test our app here i start recording here you can see there's a red dot here now you can see the stop button is available now i'm gonna stop it now you can see all these three buttons disabled and the red dot disappeared that means stop functionality works okay now we have to add the functionality to play this player to play in real time we have to add a use effect i'm gonna add a dependency array also here we have a if condition first we need to make sure our status is recorded and i have a stream and i have a video player element if those are available in the video player dot current dot src object i'm gonna assign the stream to that src object i have to add those things into the dependency array also now it should be stream but we have to start the play yeah here media recorder dot on start here i have assigned a function to it now if video ref dot current is available video ref dot current dot play also when we stop the recorder we have to make sure we stop playing it so media recorder dot on stop here i'm gonna copy it from here and here it is pause all right let's test the application here when i start it is start recording now you can see i now when i stop the video stops there i cannot play it so we will add that feature also let's go to our application let's add the force feature if recorder okay before adding that let's improve this logic here when we stop recording we have to make sure it's not equal to idle we can stop the recording when it is recording or post okay here we have to add the status we have to post recording only when it is recording okay 
here recorder dot post and uh, if video ref dot current video ref dot current dot post okay all right hmm. here instead of adding it in the post part i'm going to add that inside media recorder dot on post like this the reason is that i have got some user experience issues when i edit in this function okay sometimes play and the stream doesn't sync in real time properly when you edit here so try doing it like this i didn't get any issues when i edit in here okay let's add the resume part if recorder and status sorry this should be equal okay here equal to post we gonna add recorder dot start also here media recorder dot on resume we gonna play the player okay yeah now it should work also here we have to set the status when we post it is post when we resume it's recording here it should be resume okay i did a mistake all right let's test the app here i'm gonna start the recording start hi here i'm gonna pause now player doesn't show anything i'm gonna resume this when my hand is up hi i can pause it again and i'm gonna put my hand down and start nothing happened when i stop the video is stop okay next we're gonna play the entire video after we stop this let's do that part to get the video we need to collect all this data into one and create a blob using that here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create media recorder dot on data available and here i'm gonna get the event also previously i didn't get the event here if if event dot data dot size is greater than zero i'm gonna create an array called chunks here i'm gonna push data to that array e dot data here this chunk is a blob array okay so when we stop here i'm gonna add this stop function to bottom so it will be easy to understand so when we stop we create a blob using new blob and here i'm gonna pass those chunks and type here type is video slash web okay make sure you add the video also we need to create blob url right here url dot create object url for blob here i'm gonna set the blob to blob here i'm gonna set the blob url to blob url okay after we done that we have to assign that url to our play here video prep dot current first we have to disable the src object because we are streaming using that one we don't use it anymore okay then i'm gonna assign it to src blob url okay after that i'm gonna play the player again done let's test our application i have start recording you will be able to see me hi how are you let's go to stop here now you can see i am here okay you can see everything works perfectly so since you watch till the end i'm gonna give you a free awesome tip okay here we access the video camera and the audio right here i'm gonna remove that object and i'm gonna add get display media okay i'm gonna refresh it now when i start here i can choose a tab and i can stream the screen here you can see we have the screen pause resume stop everything works okay that's why i want to show you this hook so yeah that's the end of this video thank you guys for watching see you in the next one